Question 16. How do you find the sum of two linked lists using stack in Java? Answer. This is a relatively difficult linked questions when you compare this to reversing a linked list or adding slash removing elements from the linked list. In order to calculate the sum of linked list, you calculate the sum of values held at nodes in the same position. For example, you add values at first node on both the linked list to find the first node of resultant linked list. If the length of both linked list is not same then you only add elements from shorter linked list and just copy values for remaining nodes from the long list. Question 17. How do you calculate the sum of two linked lists using recursion in Java? Answer. This is another interesting linked list based algorithm question for Java programmers. You cannot use the java.util.linked list class but you have to write your own linked list implementation in Java to solve this problem. Question 18. How to implement LRU cache in Java using linked list? Answer. An LRU cache is the cache where you remove least recently used an element when the cache is full or about to fill. It's relatively easy in Java if you are allowed to use one of the collection class for example you can use a linked hash map to implement LRU cache in Java. But you should also prepare how you can use a doubly linked list to create an LRU cache. Question 19. How do you reverse every alternate K nodes of a linked list in Java? Answer. This is another difficult linked list algorithm question which is mostly asked to experienced programmers for example programmer having 3 to 6 years of experience. You have been given a singly linked list and you need to write a function to reverse every alternate K nodes where K is an input to the function in an efficient way. You also need to calculate the time and space complexity of your algorithm. Question 20. What is a linked list? Answer. Linked list is an ordered set of data elements, each containing a link to its successor and typically its predecessor. Question 21. How many pointers are required to implement a simple linked list? Answer. You can find generally three pointers engaged. A head pointer, pointing to the start of the record. A tail pointer, pointing on the last node of the list. The key property in the last node is that its subsequent pointer points to nothing at all. NULL. A pointer in every node, pointing to the next node element. Question 22. How to delete a node from linked list? Answer. The following are the steps to delete node from the list at the specified position. Set the head to point to the node that head is pointing to. Traverse to the desired position or till the list ends. Whichever comes first. You have to point the previous node to the next node. Question 23. How to reverse a singly linked list? Answer. First, set a pointer current to point to the first node i.e. current equals head. Move ahead until current exclamation mark equals null. Till the end, set another pointer next to point to the next node i.e. next equals current greater than next. Store reference of next in a temporary variable. Result i.e. current greater than next equals result. Swap the result value with current i.e. result equals current. And now swap the current value with next i.e current equals next return result and repeat from step 2 a linked list can also be reversed using recursion which eliminates the use of a temporary variable question 24 compare linked lists and dynamic arrays answer a dynamic array is a data structure that allocates all elements contiguously in memory and keeps account of the present number of elements if the area reserved for the dynamic array is exceeded it's reallocated and traced a costly operation linked lists have many benefits over dynamic arrays insertion or deletion of an element at a specific point of a list is a constant time operation whereas insertion in a dynamic array at random locations would require moving half the elements on the average and all the elements in the worst case. Whereas one can delete an element from an array in constant time by somehow marking its slot as vacant. This causes fragmentation that impedes the performance of iteration. Question 25. What is a circular linked list? Answer. In the last node of a singly linear list a link field often contains a null reference. A less common convention is to make the last node to point to the first node of the list. In this case the list is said to be circular or circularly linked. Question 26. What is the difference between singly and doubly linked lists? Answer. A doubly linked list whose nodes contain three fields, an integer value, and two links to other nodes, one to point to the previous node and other to point to the next node. Whereas a singly linked list contains points only to the next node. Question 27. What are the applications that use linked lists? Answer. Both stacks and queues are often implemented using linked lists. Other applications are skip list, binary tree, unrolled linked list, hash table, key self-organizing list, 
Question 28. How to remove loops in a linked list? Or, what are fast and slow pointers used for? Answer. The best solution runs in O n time and uses O one space. This method uses two pointers. One slow pointer and one fast pointer. The slow pointer traverses one node at a time. While the fast pointer traverses twice as fast as the first one. If the linked list has loop in it, eventually the fast and slow pointer will be at the same node. On the other hand, if the list has no loop, obviously the fast pointer will reach the end of list before the slow pointer does. Hence we detect a loop. Question 29. What will you prefer to use a singly or a doubly linked lists for traversing through a list of elements? Answer. Double linked lists require more space per node than singly liked lists and their elementary operations such as insertion, deletion are more expensive but they are often easier to manipulate because they allow fast and easy sequential access to the list in both directions. On the other hand, doubly linked lists cannot be used as persistent data structures. So, for traversing through a list of node, doubly linked list would be a better choice. Question 30. How to insert a node in random location in the list? Answer. As above, you'd initial produce the new node. Currently, if the position is 1 or the list is empty, you'd insert it initially position. Otherwise, you'd traverse the list until either you reach the specified position or the list ends. Then you'd insert this new node. Inserting within the middle is that the difficult case as you has got to make sure you do the pointer assignment within the correct order. First, you'd set the new node's next pointer to the node before that the new node is being inserted. 